the aliens aren't responsible for planting these here. So what are they? Wind turbines? Windmills made from steel? Let's take a deeper look into these wind farms. These wind farms can be found in many of your popular countries. You have the U.S., Japan, Germany, India, Canada, Brazil, Great Britain, just to name a few, countries that are converting mechanical energy into electricity. Most of these wind turbines are taller than the Statue of Liberty and Big Ben. Some of them are 280 feet and others are over a thousand feet. This measurement does include the very tip of the blade. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, EIA, the blades catch the wind and spin. The generator converts mechanical energy into electricity. The cable carries electricity to transmission lines. And a computer system controls direction of the blades. The taller and windier the location, the better it works. They say open fields and mountains are the best place for these wind turbines. So why are they so controversial? Imagine you and your bird family are migrating across the country and smack, you run right into one of these wind turbines. Well, we can say that the skies would be very clear then. These windmills made of steel are competing with nuclear energy. So anytime there's competition, you know there's going to be controversy. There were two along this highway that didn't work. I wonder how much the repairs cost. If you'd like to purchase one of these generators for your property, according to Amazon, you can get one as cheap as 40 bucks. One reviewer shared their video showing that for $129, it does work, but it may have saved them money, but it created noise pollution. Wouldn't that main shaft be a great place to hide if someone was looking for you? I mean, if the aliens did come hunting us. The next time you're on a road trip and you pass a wind farm, now you have a whole conversation piece and you can educate your traveling companions about these big wind turbines, AKA windmills made of steel.